Hey everybody, welcome to Margaret Being Margaret. This video is going to be a little different because I'm going to do the downside of what is going on. As you can see, I'm still smiling, but I'm in my car. Today I officially feel homeless. It's been a great week. I've had a good time. I've enjoyed watching the build going on, but it's getting a little tense. Not with the builders, but with Mike. He is working too hard. And I think that he's leaving for the week tonight for another job, which leaves the house in shambles. The framers needed the interior walls taken down. <coughs> Excuse me. Because um, when they tie in the new addition to the existing house, they're also going to be taking down walls in between the living room and what was the kitchen. So Michael has really been killing himself and it's too much. It's too much. You can't talk to him because he's a guy. He's going to save the money and do it. He's got massive amounts of German pride, which he came by. What a mistake that was. So he ripped out the outside wall. That was yesterday. He moved the stove and we thought we were going to be without a stove along with moving the refrigerator to another wall. So of course, I've been walking into the wrong place constantly. And if I give my opinion, which I know I shouldn't, it is. It is of course not appreciated or welcome. And he's right. So shame on me, but he doesn't like doing electric and he has unwired or turned off and pulled out all the wires and all the walls that are coming down. When he moved the stove over to the other side of the dining room, he actually found a way to run the stove electrical so he could put it in the other wall quickly so that we can still have a stove, which makes life so much easier. So we have a microwave, we have a stove, we have a refrigerator. I think all those things will be operational through all this mess. But the house will be open. There's no windows out, you know, on the, the addition. The windows have not come in yet. And I don't know when they're coming. The kitchen cabinets have not been officially ordered because for some reason Nick said they have to wait until... The walls are up to double check, which makes zero sense to me because except for my house, it's a one long run. There's no measurements needed. It's not wall to wall. It's open to open. I don't get it. And in my run, I already know that we're going to have a spacer in one small area. So it doesn't matter. I wish they were ordered. So that's on me going. I know that the countertops, you know, we have to wait on which I haven't even decided on those anyway. The stairs will be pulled out. I don't know if that's today. I will have to go to the outside to get up and down, but those stairs aren't in. In the meantime, all the walls are coming down. The place is absolutely a disaster. Um, I mean, there's no other way. I'm aware of all of this, but to watch Michael be so full of angst and to know that, you know, even if you look at him, you're probably going to be sorry. I get up this morning. Nikki had taken the little one to do the groceries, which I have no idea where she's going to put him when she puts him home. And I had made chili yesterday. Made a big batch of that chili that um, I forgot who put up. that had the sweet potato in it. I don't know what I did wrong. It was so bland. And I know it was me. I'm well aware. It, we hated it. So I've got this big pot of chili that's going out. I know I could doctor it. In this scenario, it, it's not a good idea. I had to leave that on the counter to cool down overnight so I could trash it this morning. While Nick's gone, I went up to do that and Michael said, no, he's got all the wood in the way. So I had to leave that on the counter, which is gonna make Nikki angry, I know. And Michael said, more or less too bad. 
So I had said, is it going to be easier for you if I'm not here today? Even being down cellar, you know, when you're working hard and the words are flying, he doesn't need his mother around. And I'm aware of that. So he said, yes. I'm sitting in my car. I know I could go to my sister's houses. That's not the same as being in your own space. I don't want to be in their way on a Sunday. So I went and got myself some peaches and um, tomatoes. It's cold morning. <sighs> I think it's like 44. And I left without a coat because I didn't want to interrupt Michael and go back down cellar because I was stepping through all the debris. So I keep starting the car. I feel like a homeless person. I truly do. Eating my peaches. Want a cup of coffee, but if I have a cup of coffee, I'll be looking for a bathroom. On the way here this morning, on the way through town, uh, my tire pressure lights came on because it was the first officially cold night. And the tire pressure, for those of you who don't have cold weather ever, the tire pressure, of course, goes down in the winter because it condenses. So you have to add air in your tires. Five gas stations and a car wash. Every single one of them had their air broken. Cause you had, I, I, so I found one in Dighton that I had to pay for. And now that's done. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here for a while. And then my sister Bernie's grandkids are having a little um, side of the road stand with croissants, I think, and um, cider, something like that that I'll go to in a little while, not to eat the cider, or, I mean, not drink the cider or whatever it is. Oh, cinnamon rolls, I think, that they're having because I'm not doing that stuff, but I'll visit them. And every single one of my sisters would be very gracious and let me come to their houses today. Yeah, I, yeah they need their Sundays too. I did go out with uh, Bernie and her husband, Dave, and Shirley and her husband, Dave, for dinner last night. And I didn't have the chili until I got home later and tasted it. And that was nice. We spent an hour or so just visiting while they had their big meals. We went to a place, the meals were like this, holy mackerel. And I had soup where Bernie's husband, Dave, was ragging on me because they insisted on paying for it. And it was $6.25 that they split between the two couples for me. So I owed them big time. That was a joke. So anyway, I'm out of the house today. I don't know when I'm coming home to. I don't know if Michael is leaving or not, which is going to mean going to be a little crazy around there. Part of me thinks it's good for him to be gone and out of the mess that he's having to watch every day and stress over. The little one and I will be fine. I bought her some more toys, which... Nick was not thrilled about, but we're being locked into her little room. So we need stuff to do. And even though I've got those three days of other things, um, you know, and it's getting cold to be outside for hours at a time. So I got her a couple more toys and we'll make do. Her and I will be fine. It's just when we're all there and I'm the monkey wrench because with tensions like this, who wants the mother or mother-in-law around? I'm aware of that. I'm also aware for all of you who are going to say, but Margaret, um, that it's a short term and we'll get through it. It's just, this is the high pressure time of waiting for the windows, waiting for the walls. You know, I'd like to see how much can get done this week with Michael gone. So when he, if he's gone, so that when he gets home, there's not quite as much on his plate. I don't know if we can get any tradespeople in, you know, last minute like that, but I'll see. So the rest of my day is going to be spent, I don't know what, there's a craft show in a town like 15 miles away that I could always go to. I wouldn't mind just sitting and reading a book all day. There's just nowhere to do it unless you're doing this. So I'm still happy. Don't anybody mistake that. But I wanted to be honest and let you see that it's not all rainbows and lollipops right now. It's very frustrating for every single one of us. You know, everybody knows that when you're doing a renovation, 
it's a really stressful time. And um, yeah, we're in the thick of it. Nothing I didn't expect and nothing we won't get through. I just wish I wasn't homeless in a car today. So you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for checking in. I'm glad you're liking the little bit of video I can give you. And I wish I could do more, but you know, squish comes first. So I'm doing what I can. It's very, very interesting to watch. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. You all have a wonderful week. Don't worry about us. We're going to manage just like everybody else does. And so many people have it a thousand times worse. With This is not a natural disaster that we're dealing with. This is self-imposed. So take care. Be kind. I think I'm done. Done to do what? I don't know. But I'm done.